G'day, great to have you with us. Day three here, the eighth annual Sea Link Maggie Island Race Week. A little bit different conditions today. They are saying those breezes around that 10 to 15 knot mark should make for some interesting sailing. But last night it was all happening up at Gilligan's Arcadia for the massive shipwreck party. Let's check out all the action. Here we are, race day sponsor today, Port of Towns. We're catching up with the Sealink Maggie Island Race Week chairperson, Mr. Paul Victory. Morning, mate. Morning, mate. How are you? Uh, I guess we're into day three here, Paul. You must be overwhelmed and thrilled at the, at the response and the turnout here for the race week. Yeah, absolutely thrilled. Race gets better every year, doesn't it? Racing is great, sailing is great, and the apres sailing is also great. <laughs> and I guess a big thing too, Paul, is... Uh, a lot of regulars have come back, but also it's the new the new races, the new people that have heard about it for many, many years that have said, we've got to try this, we've got to be here. So that's pleasing for you? Absolutely. We're a tourism company and the event's led by tourism. So it's great to have people from Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, Tasmania, all here, and uh, even visitors last night from England and Canada. So let's let's go forward next year. Uh, Townsville turning 150, maybe something you could incorporate into race week? Today's uh, celebration or today's race day sponsor is the Port of Townsville. The celebrations for Townsville's 150 years basically start now. So the Port of Townsville turns 150, it's a big year for the port and of course Townsville as well will turn 150. I've got some great ideas for next year. Historic sailing, match racing, a big year for the Defence Forces, so a lot of things on the water next year. Mate, we continue to say it, can it get any bigger? And it continues to get bigger. You must be, as an organiser that's come in for the last few years, you must be over the moon, Paul. Oh, what an event. Yeah, I talked to some people last night. I think uh, we're about tourism and um, I want to sell Magnetic Island and um, this is a great event. I said to somebody last night, what a great regatta. They said, guess what? The worst thing is, it only happens once a year. <laughs> yeah. Here we are catching up with Nick. He's just about to jump in the water and check the hull of Tavaki too. For those that aren't aware, mug of the day yesterday, ran up onto Middle Reef, but uh, Nick, you're telling us they actually ran up twice. Yeah, they came off it and then we watched them. We were trying to work out what they were doing and then they sailed right back onto it again. <laughs> so obviously not a local boat. <laughs> so what do you? What, what could be the damage? I mean, what's the worry? Oh, they might have hit some, cracked it. We'll just have a look, see. Once I get out of the water, I'll know a bit better. So in you go. Yeah, we'll see if they're taking any paint off. <laughs> Let's follow him in. Nick, here's the big, uh, we want the big answers. Any damage? Oh, there's no damage, but there's no paint on the bottom of the bulb. <laughs> <laughs> so it's nice and clean? It's nice and clean, yes. Scraped off a bit of fiberglass, and basically taking the paint off. But all the nuts is good. Now, as you're all aware, we are giving away a $1,000 voucher thanks to Quantum Sail Group for Best on Water. And yesterday, down at Gilligan's, it was awarded to Bob from Chameleon for Best on Water. But unfortunately, Bob was full of water. That's right. <laughs> what happened, mate? Uh, I uh, collected a lot of water in the uh, sink uh, through not having the uh, plug you know, wedged in nice and tight and uh, uh, every time the sink filled up and we went about then this water sloshed out of the sink into the boat and I ended up with about 80 kilograms of water in the uh, sloshing around in the boat. So you were literally full of salt water? Oh, not full, no, but, no, yeah. a bit, but uh, that's about the weight of an extra crewman, but an extra crewman you can tell him where, you, where he sits, you know, but you can't tell a, uh, you know, a lot of the water that's sloshing about where it's supposed to be. It's always in the worst position. So you, you're you drawing out at the moment, can we just have a little look? Come here. Here's, look, here's Bob's bed, we'll bend down and grab that. Bed. Bobby's bed drawing out. That's his bed. <laughs> All the life jackets are out through here. Everything, Bob, but it looks like it's drying out. And will you be racing today? Yeah, I'll be racing today. We'll be cleaned up in another three quarters of an hour. Don't stand on my bed, though. Come on. <laughs> He's up me. Get off the bed, Scotty. <laughs>
Catching up with Mal, who has done six Maggie Island Race Weeks, but very brand new boat here, the Champagne. Pretty impressive. Yeah, she's uh, she's not a bad bad girl for a big girl. When did she turn up? Uh, we picked it up from Hamlet Island on Tuesday lunchtime. And how's it racing? Is it doing everything you thought it'd do? Um, it's doing everything we <laughs> thought it would do. Uh, we're just not performing. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess being a local here in Townsville, uh, you're a good ambassador for the area. Why is Maggie Island so popular as a racing destination? Oh, just the uh, conditions up here and the weather, you know, the afternoon doctor, there's always a bit of breeze about, so it's it's fantastic. So they're saying a bit lighter today, you can, we can tell this morning, probably that 10 to 12 knot mark, going to make it interesting racing? Yeah, we'd prefer the 20 knots, but the uh, the 10 knots and the crossing uh, in between is going to be... Um, well, if the committee boat's in the middle there, she might have some good <laughs> shots. And it's a good thing, uh, a lot of boats travelling from interstate uh, for the regatta, they travel from everywhere just to be here and, and race this Maggie on a race week. They do, well... Up here we have shorts and t-shirts and down there they're fully suited and booted so uh, what, a, what a great spot you know we're, we're spoiled up here with the, our weather in the winter. And is it true that the name Champagne every day you get back to the dock here and you'd like to invite everybody three cases of Moe Champagne <laughs> will be here this afternoon? Yes yes that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Not! Because Scott's paying. <laughs> here we are on the uh, after deck of Helena May. Now last night for Best on Water Helena May got a very very big mention in regards to the winner of the award. Skipper here with Lindy with a big smile on her face. Uh, we're going to talk rules of the road, giving way, not giving way, <laughs> port, starboard, of a lady that should know. Do you want to explain yourself, Lindy? Well, <laughs> decided that I wanted to be on port tack. Poor chameleon's coming across on starboard. He actually has a right of way. I decided he needed to go to port. <laughs> he had to tack. I was doing him a favour. Better wind out that side, the right hand side. Well, if you're going to do it, you might as well do a complete <laughs> cock up so spectacularly in front of the whole committee boat who are all watching you. Now, you probably don't get any better ambassadors than yourself and your hubby uh, in regards to Townsville as a location, destination, Love and it. Sea Link Maggie on a race week. But what is it about it, Linda, that you, you think draws people? Blue sky, look, not a cloud around. It's just 27 degrees, nice breeze every day. The Round the Island race yesterday was just beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Watching all those kites going down, all the, it was it was great. So here, let's go a little step further. Uh, you know, to do with penalties and infringements, the pineapple is here on the boat. Just briefly, what does this mean? I believe you gave it to Leon on Guilty Pleasures oh, yesterday, yeah. and Lindy's got it back after her little indiscretion on the start line yesterday. Yeah. Hold your pineapple, darling. <laughs> we got pineappled. <laughs> like I said, one little mistake and look what happens. Because, yep, it hurts as it's coming out. <laughs> Is it Easter or am I just dreaming? The lovely, come in here ladies, the lovely Easter bunnies hitting the water very, very shortly. Is it going to make you go faster? Yes. yes. <laughs> we're going to hop, we're going to do the hop. <laughs> we're going to do the hop, 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 hop. <laughs> Good luck girls, go get them. Good luck our little bunny rabbits. Now one of the big draw cards here, day three, Sealing Maggie Island Race Week is the big Arcadia Beach Fair. There's stalls, there's markets, there's fun and festivities for the whole family, including the big Maggie Island treasure hunt, the one our bender down there playing. Let's check out some of the action. Only a short race today here, day three, the Sealing Maggie Island Race Week. So what we thought we'd do, instead of going out on the water, the action from day one and two was so exciting, we thought we'd compile it all together and have a good look at it. Let's check it out. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, there we go. Day three, done and dusted. I'll tell you what, the wind only just played the part. It was off, it was off, then finally got out on the water for some fantastic racing. Have yourselves a great night. We'll be back same place, same time tomorrow morning.